so 5th of January, sailing at Ballyhome Yacht Club in Bangor, Northern Ireland. Taking the Futura 120 with a 7 litre turbo. Recently put on the North Extension, haven't really used it too much but actually it's brilliant for a canned sail to make easy adjustments. I've also got a new adjustable out hole system on that boom, which again makes adjustments really, really easy. First time I've used the Insta360 secured on that SDM mast, worked well. And as you can see, just putting the board onto the rig, always keeping the foot under the board when on the concrete. Getting the board into the water there, water temperature is about 10 degrees at the moment in Belfast Lock, not too bad, and wearing a gull 5mm wetsuit. As you can see, the camera set up there on the mast. See what happens. Just need to tweak it round so it's pointing a little bit more at you on each uh, different tack. And then that's me with the GoPro attached to a forward whip helmet. So the new camera setup seems to be working, even if the wind isn't. Got out into the middle of the bay and really discovered that the 7 metre wasn't quite enough and we needed the 8 metre to get going. Occasionally there were enough little gusts just to try and get the board moving, but it really wasn't having any of it. After falling in, at least pleased to see that I can water start the, uh, the turbo, quite heavy though compared to some of the other rigs. Coming back in towards the club, a couple of moments there where it almost went, but just not quite. I'm now thinking, time to come in, change kit. And lo and behold, a nice little puff came through. Foot in the front strap, got it planing. Slightly down the waves, a bit bouncy, but unfortunately it didn't last. So definitely time to come in, change kit, and try the, the foil board. So now changing kit to the Foil X145 Super Cruiser foil, but staying with the turbo. I've eased the downhole a little bit on it, just to uh, close it a little bit further at the top. Wind seems to have dropped off, so struggling to consistently get going. A little bit further out though, cleaner, cleaner wind, the board started to fly, but it certainly didn't feel quite as good as with the foil glide. I've got the foil glide 6 and 7 metre sails from Severn. They always say learn to foil in flat water, but that just seems to be impossible at any of my local spots, as you can see. The swell there is probably at least half a metre, which is interesting when the board touches down just in the wrong way and you end up going over the handlebars. But anyway, got the board up, got it flying, um, and a very pleasant end to the afternoon on what was a really glorious January day. Thanks very much for watching.